Hi, welcome. I'm Marek Mulacek from SciTrain.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And this time, I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to create a very interesting and very easy to achieve a watercolor effect in Adobe Photoshop. This is the starting point. This is the image we're going to use. And that's the effect we're going to achieve. Like a painting. Okay. So I'm just going to delete this layer. And we'll start off by duplicating this layer three times. So I'm going to duplicate it. One, two, and three. So I've duplicated this three times because we're going to apply three different layers to achieve our final result. I'm going to hide the top two layers and I'll start working on this background copy layer. We'll leave the background layer intact. This is the original layer. So background layer selected, background copy layer selected. We'll go to Filter, Artistic, Cutout. The Filter Gallery will open because Cutout is a part of the Filter Gallery. And here we'll set number of levels to 4 just to increase the details. Let's see, 5, 6. Now we'll leave that on 4. Edge Simplicity will define the edges on the image. So if we go too low, we'll have loads of really sharp edges. So I'm going to increase that to about, let's see, 4 looks about right. And edge fidelity will leave it on 2. I'll just press OK. Now to blend this layer with the layer below, with the background layer, with this one here, we're going to change the blend mode of this layer. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We're going to change it to luminosity. Okay. So you can see what happens when we change the blend mode. Okay, the top of the image doesn't really change, just the lightest parts of the image change in here. These flowers in the front. That looks nice. Now let's show another layer, background copy to layer 2. I will use another filter here. We'll go back to artistic section. So filter artistic. But this time we're going to apply a dry brush filter. Okay, this will also open the filter gallery. Now you can see where we're coming. You can see how this effect is being applied. Now with brush size, in this case, the higher the better. I think 10 looks good. Brush detail, also the higher the better. So we'll set it to maximum. And for the texture, let's see. I think one looks really nice. Yeah, I'll just leave it on two. Oh, so, excuse me, two. Now just press OK. So this is our before, and that's what we have now here. Now we want to blend this layer with the layer directly below as well. I'm also going to rename this layer so I know what they do. So I'm going to rename this layer to Cutout Filter. Cutout Filter, okay. And I'm going to rename this one to Dry Brush. Dry brush filter. It's good to remember to name your layers so you know what they do. And with the dry brush filter selected, we're going to change this blend mode. Let's lighten it a bit. So we use this section here. Let's see, lighten. It's not too bad. Screen. Yeah, I think screen looks really good. So use screen mode. Now let's go to this layer here. Let's open it. I will add some noise here to soften it. So we'll go to filter, noise, median. Okay, this will soften the edges really nice, really nicely. It's going to set it to one, so you can see how it changes. And that's two, it's three, four, five. I think about depends on the effects you're trying to achieve. I think three, four looks really interesting in here. I like that. So I'll just press OK, and I'll rename this layer median filter. Okay, and we'll change the blend mode of this layer as well. This time we'll use this group here. Let's see overlay now to harsh. We'll use soft light, and this gives us a really interesting painting effect. I think mean, it looks really good. Let's look at the original. That's the original image, and that's the final effect. Now, if you're wondering what what trick I use here, is I'm just holding the Alt key. This will be Option key on the Mac and clicking on the eyeball here and what it's doing is it's hiding all the layers except for this one and I'm, hide, I'm using the old click once again to 
show all the other layers. Now just to see the, what we can do here is we can select these effect layers, all the layers, and we can create a composite of all the layers on and one layer on the top. This will be keyboard shortcut, Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E on the Mac. This will create the one composite layer with all the effects put in together. Okay, this was the tutorial on creating a watercolor effect in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you watch some more videos from me. For once again, I'm Marek Mlaczek from SciTrain.co.uk. Um, and I hope to see you soon on another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.